September the 22nd, 2019. Guys, a quick update on the uh, tropical outlook. You got Tropical Storm Jerry. It's moving north northwest at 12 miles an hour. That's up and to the left, 65 mile per hour sustained winds. Now it's expected to uh, break a gap between uh, two sections of high pressure and make it up into the North Atlantic. Now we have Karen. Uh, it's at 40 miles per hour. It's moving west northwest at eight miles an hour. Not excuse me, nine miles an hour. Now it's going to follow Jerry to a certain point. But then that high pressure area is going to close back on it, and the models are interesting. Now, this storm that they had an 80% chance of development while it was still on land in Africa now is off. It's in the Atlantic, and they're giving it a 90% chance of cyclone formation and possibly will be named today. If so, it will be Lorenzo. And we'll look at the uh, satellite images on this, guys. Very strong already. Uh, impressive formation. It says uh, this, it has moved off of the west coast of Africa this morning. It's quickly becoming better organized. Environmental conditions are conducive for further development in a tropical depression or tropical storm is expected to form later today or tonight while the system moves generally westward at 15 to 20 miles per hour. It says folks in the Cabo Islands keep an eye on it. Now we've had Amelda. Texas knows all about that, don't you, Houston? Then Jerry and Karen's out there now, and so the new one will be Lorenzo. That will leave us about nine storms, and you can see the names here, ending with Wendy, which is an appropriate name for a hurricane, one of the only ones I see. But uh, again, that's a powerful storm. It may be the most powerful of the year so far, but it's predicted to move into the North Atlantic. Now, here's the uh, tracking information on Jerry. Remaining a tropical storm, and you can see the curve about Tuesday between Tuesday and Wednesday and that will curve back out into the Atlantic all the models are again uh, tuned into this curve you see that probably no effect on the U.S. at all now again you never know we're a couple of days out in Nova Scotia keeping an out now Karen's a different story it's a 40 mile per hour tropical storm it's moving west northwest at nine miles an hour and uh, the models vary all of the models have a curve it just depends on where it is because of the uh, high pressure that Jerry's gonna break through is gonna close back in on the storm we'll look at it here's your various models uh, you've got the TABS and then the CMC the Canadian model which tends to be very accurate we'll look at that we're gonna look at the Navy model and the European models but uh, the TABD model is what the Europeans are showing so we'll see and it, all of this looks like it's going to have an effect on the US so we'll pay attention to it and as we switch over and we'll take a look at the first the European model you'll see that the high pressure uh, the models have the high pressure in different areas but that's what the different models are for different data into different uh, possibilities now, you've got in the center of the screen, Jerry in the green circle. The other storm, as of this uh, model, is not showing up yet, but you'll see it quickly form. And then Karen is below Jerry. Notice in the orange, you've got the high pressure setting above Jerry. And Jerry's going to push up on it as we go forward into the September 25th here, and it moves forward. And it makes a gap in between and behind this area of low pressure. Now here's Karen formed, and Lorenzo is a very large storm behind it by the 27th. That's only uh, five days out. Now notice the high pressure is forming over Karen. Keeps it from shooting the gap, but Lorenzo has already made that turn, the largest storm in the very center, and is being pulled north into the Atlantic. But Karen has dipped back down over Cuba in this model, and is being trapped behind this orange area of high pressure. That's how they're marking it. And uh, notice uh, that uh, where the lines are. That could be, especially in the orange, the steering factor of the storm. Now, we're a few days out, and this will change, but this is what we have to work with now. Notice on October 4, 1st, the storm is off the tip of Florida over Cuba, and uh, during that day, it starts to make a turn back to the north. Now, depending on how this high pressure setting, if this is the, ends up being the scenario, it will determine whether 
the storm will make it up into Texas, Louisiana area or curve back up and through the Florida Panhandle and uh, into Georgia and up the East Coast. It will just depend on ex- on how the high pressure is setting. But there's a possibility and there's a gap showing here on October uh, the 2nd to where it could follow this line of high pressure like that or it could start to turn, guys and try to break this gap between the two areas of high pressure you see in the orange on both sides. Again, we're out uh, over a week, but it's time to start paying attention to this one. Now, just like in the spaghetti models, each model is, that we're looking at here in the simulations are slightly different, but here's the Canadian model. Now, it's the uh, same scenario. You've got Jerry uh, shooting the gap between the two high pressure areas right there here comes Karen up the east coast and the Lorenzo is off uh, behind it so the models are not that far off but this one shows a recurve before it gets into the Gulf of Mexico notice this here is uh, again we'll start it but notice the high pressure that's over the Gulf now that's going to change in a week guys and it's going to come a large area of low pressure there goes Jerry shooting the gap here comes Karen stopped and blocked by the high pressure turning back towards florida and then making a right turn up towards the carolinas that's the difference in the models here's the navy model same scenario as far as jerry shooting that gap between the high pressure areas lorenzo very strong and powerful and pulling up behind it but karen again is blocked right there and you see a turn back towards the east coast and notice the slant in the high pressure system right there. How it's going to force it back down towards Florida in that model. And if you were paying attention, you would have saw another storm coming off of Africa by that time. But here's Jerry. There's Karen. And this will more than likely be Lorenzo. And you'll see once I animate this uh, satellite image. Why? Because it already has a very strong area of, of low pressure. It's starting to rotate. Check that out. But more than likely today, there will be another storm. Here's Jerry. It's going to try to break it through this gap that's forming in this high pressure above it. See it going up along the east coast. Then Karen, you saw the models. Now, this is just today, so everything's forming. Two tropical storms, more than likely by the uh, later, or say the 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. updates, it will be Tropical Storm Lorenzo. Now, this thing is going to probably strengthen very quickly. And to count your blessings that the models show Lorenzo not moving westward into the U.S. We've uh, just saw over $8 billion worth of damage in Houston from a tropical depression. So keep your heads up, guys. We It looks like, uh, again today, September 22nd, up through the middle of October, things are going to be very interesting. Heads up. Be safe.